RestoMods, a blend of restoration and modification, have carved a unique niche in the automotive world. Their blend of classic charm and modern innovation have taken old classics and brought them into the modern era. These automotive works of art pay homage to the past while embracing the technology and performance of the present, creating a harmonious union that captures the hearts of car lovers worldwide. One of the most compelling aspects of RestoMods is their ability to bridge generations. They invite us to relive the nostalgia of classic cars while indulging in the comforts, performance and safety features of today's vehicles. This fusion of old and new gives us the best of both worlds, a visual connection to automotive history and the exhilaration of cutting-edge engineering. Now East Coast Defender, renowned for the exceptional Land Rover restorations and restomods, has taken a bold step into the world of classic Jaguar restoration with their latest creation, the Project Dallas Commission, a beautifully reimagined Jaguar E-Type. While Land Rovers are their forte, this venture demonstrates their knowledge in transforming iconic British classics and the E-Type is indeed an impressive canvas for their skills. The Jaguar E-Type, often hailed as a symbol of British automotive design, is an audacious choice for showcasing restoration capabilities. Its sleek lines and timeless appeal have captured the hearts of enthusiasts worldwide, yet ECD is determined to make them mock by giving this classic a new soul. Now, when ordering your own Restomod E-Type, you have a choice. You see, at the heart of the Project Dallas Commission can be one of four powertrains, a Corvette LT1 engine, which is option number one, and this 6.2-liter American V8 is paired with an 8-speed automatic transmission, and this great engine and gearbox pairing is further enhanced with 4-way 6-piston brake calipers up front and 4-piston brakes at the rear. Now, while this engine might raise eyebrows among purists, it's only one of the options. ECD provides four custom bolts. They also offer a second generation electric powertrain for those that want to embrace modern green sustainability. But both of those options might piss off the purists. But worry not, for those wanting to keep the spirit of the original, the choice between an original Series 2 42 liter inline 6 engine or a Series 3 E Type V12 engine is also on the table. So you can really build the car that suits your preference. Now, once the powertrain decision is made, ECD embarks on a meticulous 2200 hour restoration process for each E Type. And while the restoration is important, customization is paramount, allowing buyers to select paint colors, interior materials, and even fine details such as gauge aesthetics to create a truly personalized masterpiece. But it's more than just aesthetics. When entering the interior, you are greeted by many new amenities. For instance, the seats, though reminiscent of the original design, come with modern comforts like heating and ventilation. Then the audio system, a Resto Sound Bluetooth enabled head unit, teams up JL audio speakers and a Kenwood slimline subwoofer, delivering both nostalgia and superior sound quality. The cabin also features the convenience of four USB ports, blind spot assistance and automatic headlights. I mean this classic has more creature comforts than my 2007 BMW. Pretty insane. Anyways, they don't stop there. They also added a custom luggage rack, adding a touch of purpose and vintage charm, while handmade center locking wire wheels from Rote Borani, a respected Italian brand, complete the car's distinctive look. Of course, all of this comes at quite a hefty price. For this kind of restoration artistry, expect to pay upwards of $300,000, depending on the chosen configuration and customizations, with ECD planning to craft only 10 to 12 E-types annually. So, in other words, owning one of these is a guarantee of rarity and individuality. But at the end of the video, let me know what you think of this car. I personally love the E-Type Jaguar, and Resto mods are really cool. But for me personally, a classic needs the emotion, character and sound of an internal combustion engine powered motor. So if I was given the option, I would probably choose the Series 3 V12 power plant in mine. What would you choose? Let me know down below. If you guys enjoyed this video, please have a like and subscribe to the channel. And if you did like it, you must probably like most of my other stuff. So just go through my channel, see if there's something else you like. I'll check you guys in the next one. Cheers, eh? My heart.
hide 